Hey everyone, welcome back to Wrath of Math. In today's video, we'll be answering the question, what are regular graphs? If you know what the degree of a vertex is, a regular graph is just a graph where every vertex has the same degree. So, for example, this graph here is a regular graph because every vertex in the graph has degree 1. For those of you that don't know what the degree of a vertex is, let's quickly go over it. The degree of a vertex is the number of edges incident to that vertex. So, for example, the degree of this vertex is 1 because it's incident to one edge. Equivalently, the degree of a vertex is the number of vertices adjacent to that vertex. So, this vertex here is adjacent to one vertex. Of course, this one over here. So, the degree is 1. And same thing with this vertex over here. It's incident to this one edge, and it also is adjacent to one vertex, so it has degree 1. And again, we say that this graph is regular because every vertex in the graph has the same degree. They both have degree 1. Do you think we could find another graph where every vertex has degree 1? I think that we certainly could. Let's paste this in here. And then right here, this whole graph here is another regular graph. Every vertex in this graph has degree 1. So that's kind of boring. How about degree 2? Can we find a regular graph where every vertex has degree 2? We certainly can, and it's not much harder. All we have to do is join these vertices here and join these vertices here. Now, this is a regular graph where every vertex has degree 2. Looking at this top left vertex, for example, it's incident to two edges, and of course, it's adjacent to two vertices. And every vertex in this graph is adjacent to two vertices, so it is a regular graph. So this graph is regular, like we've been saying, because every vertex has the same degree. It is also too regular. To get more specific, we say that it is too regular because every vertex has degree 2. And then lastly, if you want to call this graph more names, you can say that this graph is regular of degree 2. Of course, again, because every vertex in the graph has degree 2. So we can say it is a regular graph, it's too regular, it is regular of degree 2. Now, how about a three regular graph? That would be cool. Think we can find one of those? We absolutely can. Check it out. Just have to join these two vertices here and join these two vertices here with that super straight line there. So this graph is three regular because every vertex in the graph has degree three. Looking at this bottom left vertex, for example, it's incident to one, two, three edges, and equivalently, it's adjacent to one, two, three vertices. Now, if a graph is three regular, we can also say that the graph is cubic. So a cubic graph is a graph that is three regular. Any graph where all of its vertices have degree three is a cubic graph. And scrolling way on down here, this is the most famous cubic graph. This is the Peterson graph, as the caption says. And I got this picture from Wikipedia just so that we could see a perfectly drawn Peterson graph. Like I said, this graph is cubic, and it's quite a neat looking graph. So again, it's cubic because every vertex has degree 3. Let's look at a couple. This vertex over here, for example, is adjacent to 1, 2, 3 vertices. So indeed, it has degree 3. Then if we look at, say, this vertex right over here, it is adjacent to 1, 2, 3 vertices also. So again, it has degree 3. And the Peterson graph is a pretty interesting graph for a number of reasons, but we'll get into more of those reasons in another lesson. But that's what a regular graph is. A graph is regular if and only if every vertex in the graph has the same degree. So I hope this video helped you understand what regular graphs are. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math videos on the internet. And a big thanks to Valo, who, upon my request, kindly gave me permission to use his music in my math lessons. Link to his music in the description. He's a fully novel full of question marks about the things he didn't start. A thousand pages caught in copy, black and white.